A presentation of cheque donations was held at Little Bay Restaurant. The funds will be assisting a range of causes. We hope to use it to support our employment program because um, employment is key to recovery and it's very important. So we have transitional employment placements and these funds will go to help support people get back and, and actually get a real employment. It's probably going to go towards our Med Ocean Heroes program, which is where we encourage school children or ch all children to um, engage with the environment, clean up the environment, and then we reward them when we go back to school by giving them some sort of gift, you know, a cap or, or something like that to make them stand out in front of their peers. So the funds are going to go towards one of our school's projects, uh, Kindness Warriors. So the idea is that we're going to be promoting the values of kindness, tolerance and compassion. The Kishinalwani Foundation charity shop, run by volunteers, raises money for various charities on a monthly basis. Well, because of the pandemic, we were not able to donate the uh, last couple of months. A few, year, few months ago, Little Bay uh, decided to, don to, to make some fundraising for these three charities. And they were not able to uh, do it, because they had to postpone because of the pandemic. Um, when I found out they were trying to help these charities, I thought these charities are doing fantastic service in Gibraltar, so I decided to step in and support these three charities. I want to take the opportunity to thank the general public who donated their unused clothes to a charity shop, and I want to thank the volunteers who helped to sell those shops, and I want to thank the public who buy those clothes. Mr. Alwani says the initiative helps recycle clothes whilst also assisting worthy causes in the community. Anyone interested in donating goods can take their items to the shop at 4 John McIntosh Square.